So for today, we're going to be looking at the Sunlit Armor Set from Solstice. If you guys don't know, you can go to Evil right now and she will give you this armor set if you guys haven't visited her already. And this armor set's really cool. I really, really like it. We're going to be looking at the Unglowed version because that is the version I'm going to keep, which means I'm not going to do Solstice this year because I don't want the glow. Even though the glow is very minimal, I still don't like the fact that uh, Bungie doesn't have the unglowed version and the glow version separate it's unfortunately always going to have the glow it's going to overseed it so if you don't want the glow uh just make sure you're not uh like kindling the armor i think it is just make sure you don't kindle the armor and then you should be good to go unfortunately you do miss out on some pretty good armor stats that you will like that you could farm but for me i'm just more fashion oriented and armor sets or armor rolls you can really get them anywhere specifically the dungeons you probably want to do that more just because the dungeons, specifically the ones that dropped artifice armor is just better overall because you can bump up your stats a little bit more with those so even though you'll be missing out on pretty much all of the event i still think this armor is cool enough to really just ignore the event itself because again this armor is really really cool so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below but other than that let's get into it so this is the armor set i really really like this armor set we're going to be starting from the hunter titan and then warlock that's how we usually do it and again like i said you can pick this up from evil right now i will advise you not to get the eververse uh version if you have the option get the one from from just eva just because a it's free and the glow version is really really terrible i'm gonna be show, showcasing that in a later video i'm not gonna buy the armor because it's not worth it because again um the glow is really terrible the only way it'll be worth it is next year when this armor set's not being available anymore like at that point if you if you missed out on the armor then at that point i would tell you it's worth it but we'll get to that when we go to that video first and foremost i will want to direct your attention to the fact that the hunters are the only class that got symmetrical arms in this armor set which i think is fucking wild um hunter or titans and warlocks you guys got some asymmetrical arms not saying they're bad i actually do think they're cool it's just the fact that it's so weird for hunters to get symmetrical arms and even weirder the fact that the titans and warlocks didn't get symmetrical arms so more of a like what the fuck than anything else but that aside i think all of these pieces are really really cool the only thing that i have a really big gripe about is the fact of how certain pieces take shaders specifically the chest piece for the hunters and titans not so much for the warlocks um they're not good they don't shader really well and, and when i say this i don't mean like oh they have a glow over it it's just like certain pieces i would have chosen to be other colors i'll get to that when we get to the shadering because i actually will talk a bit, bit about shadering but overall design wise i think all of it's really cool i think the arms are really really cool i think the boots are super dope there is almost no asymmetry in this set for the hunters uh, aside from like the chest piece has a few pieces that are not symmetrical but that's completely fine because the overall shape is symmetrical which i really do appreciate i also absolutely love the cloak i think the cloak is so good i'm actually really excited to use this in future sets because i like just how it looks um the helmet i think is the weakest part from this whole set i'm gonna be real with you guys not saying it's bad or anything but it is the only piece that actually takes off colors which for some pe people that might not be bad for me i'm just kind of like the shape is also not i'm not the biggest fan of the shape but overall i think we ate really well i think the chest piece is really cool even though a shader is really weird the boots are super dope arms super dope and then the cloak i think is the best piece from the whole set titans i'm gonna be real with you i think you guys may have lost not by much granted i think everyone ate really well it's just that you guys i think the helmet's not that great uh, just because it has that issue of like the chest piece is really small and then the helmet's super big so i'm not really a big fan of that that being said it might be a female issue and and might not be an issue for males but chest piece i'm not the biggest fan of it either it looks cool definitely looks cool but it was the hardest piece i had trouble with to make a set with because i've already made sets with all of these pieces already like come on i'm not wasting time this armor set's cool uh that being said i think the arms are, are decent i think the boots super cool i actually really love the boots and the mark i actually really love as well so it's not like i'm saying all of the set is bad because the boots mark arms and even the helmet inserting chest pieces looks really cool it's just i don't know man it's i 
I don't know. I can't really explain it. Like I wish it doesn't feel like a Titan to me is probably what the best thing I can say. And I do think the asymmetric asymmetrical uh, pauldrons really do take away from the Titans because I feel like th the Titans should have got what the Warlocks got on their right shoulder, uh, but for both sides. Speaking of Warlocks, I think the chest piece is the best piece from the whole classes. It's super fucking cool. Helmet, also really cool. Probably the best helmet that all the classes got. And then the arms and boots are definitely cool, but not as strong as the chest piece and the helmet. The only thing that's really bad about this set is the bond. The bond actually takes the off color and most of the time it's either going to be a silver or a gold. It's really weird. It usually just likes to stick to silver. So if you were expecting some cool shaders, unfortunately, you're really going to have to fight this bond because again, it doesn't shader really well. Other than that, it looks super cool. I'm really happy with the armor set that we got this year, considering last year's not only looked pretty terrible, but it also shadered really terrible. This year, however, all of it shaders really well, for, aside from the chess piece for the Titans and Hunters. And yeah, yeah, it's really, and I like aesthetically, I think the design is super dope. So whoever designed this needs to make next year's and whoever made last year's don't design it because I, I personally didn't like it. Let's just say that. As for how it shaders, So to start off, we're going to be looking at Ancient Wisdom first, and this is a perfect representation of how I feel about the Hunter set because the chest piece, I think, should have shadered how the Titan shader, which is the outer coat, should be green, and then the undershirt should have kept that brown so that way it visually changes itself because just one whole color just kind of makes it look really weird, especially when you combine it with the boots because then it's like, why is everything one color? It shouldn't be one color. I hope it's a it's a bug. It's probably not. That's probably how they did it. But I personally think the coat should be green and then the inner should be brown. So that way it can like look. It, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It might be just me being weird. But for me, it just one whole color for the whole thing just looks fucking stupid. Uh, that being said, the Titans chest piece does not shader weird. I thought it would, it would do the same thing that the Hunters did. Don't know why I thought that, but Titan's chest piece, that one shaders really well. The Hunters is the one that has the problem chess piece. Other than that, I think the shadering is really, really cool. Again, like I said, the Hunter helmet does have some off colors in there. So you guys will notice some colors that you're usually not used to seeing with Ancient Wisdom for the helmet. Other than that, everything shaders really, really well. Um, the only gripe, I guess you would say, and this is not even talking about the chess piece, because again, when you go to like Echo to Anger, you will notice that all of it is white for the hunters and i just don't think that's the best choice because again i think they should have done what the titans have for their vest where it's again the coat has the red and then the under shirt has the white so that way it can uh the color separation would have been a lot better that's what i'm going for uh the color separation is not good for the hunters but everyone else looks really really good nothing too much to talk about honestly uh, at the end of the day it just looks really really cool but if I were to tell you to combine some shaders with this, I think the best shader to combine this for the hunters would probably be Cryptic Insignia. You're gonna want a shader that looks really, really good and Cryptic Insignia, at least for cloth, will turn it all black or a like lighter black, which would be gray probably. Um, and as you guys can see from Cryptic Insignia, 
everything's black everything looks really really good there is no color separation for this one aside from the armor pieces and the cloth and the cloth there is really no color separation aside from the gray and the black and that's not that big a deal to, for me at least so that's why i think cryptic shaders like cryptic insignia is going to be your best choice because it's going to hide the fact that the hunter chest piece has really bad color separation so that way like for for me personally i would combine cryptic insignia with this shit with this armor set just because again when you look at it with cryptic insignia it looks super good it like like it looks amazing but then when you go to another shader then you'll notice like okay the color separation is pretty bad for the hunters but everyone else is really really fine so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about the armor set i again like i said i personally really fucking love this armor set i think it's probably one of the best solstice armor sets we've gotten in a while to be fair we've gotten like i do want to make a tier list like i said i would and i definitely will make one but for sure i think this is like top tier like top three if i'm gonna be quite honest and it's probably the second one because i think i think what was it 2019's armor set is really really cool um i will definitely make that tier list because i know i know people want to see me do that so i can piss them off so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point be safe i'll see you guys later